this lecture series we shall discuss some interesting aspects about architecture of houses in three parts we shall be uploading similar lecture on architecture and urbanism in our youtube channel between architecture and urbanism you may subscribe or visit our website www.betweenarchitectureandurbanism.com more discussion and related articles part 1 of architecture of houses series shall discuss the formative years of modernism and experimentation houses have always remained a theoretical excursion playfield to reinvent architecture and set new canons of contemporary paradigm in architecture the history of houses has showed such tendencies during early modern phase and gained its momentum subsequently in passage of time every paradigm that has emerged there has been a house on which it was experimented on architecture of houses always dealt with duality of transfer of form versus concern for program the harder the contrast between two the more it sets the challenge to the contemporary means that is representation and technology the image is a template of modular construction that was first imagined by french architect and teacher jean durand in early 18th century the system of design using simple modular elements anticipated components in modern industrialized houses and buildings this could be perhaps early experimentation in imagination of house with modular elements of space making and construction houses as a simple plans was operative metaphor bauhaus sets new experiment with houses as a system houses as a systematic theoretical and rational research into formal technical and economic field it attempted devise a form of house from its natural function and limitation of the material such research into nature of objects leads to result that form emerges from determined consideration of all modern method of construction and production the formal handling of volume nevertheless convincingly demonstrate the aesthetic presence in industrial reduction of cube the minimum form and maximum function sets new alignment to the aesthetics of house form the rationality and vitality of program remain constant victim for seeking new language of architecture architecture of houses derived from technology on one side while object of industrial production on other side it decided the aesthetics and language of modern architecture and especially modern houses the master's house in bauhaus campus represented the architecture of technology and form acting as a medium of experimental work of industrial production and curriculum in bauhaus the form of house is very minimal formed by subtraction of cube, cubic volume endowed with standard fenestration with the token gesture of balcony covering the porch brings sense of domestic scale to the building bauhaus attempted to contribute to the development appropriate to the time of housing from the simplest appliances to a finished dwelling and they relate each other with certain sense of industrial rationality the house attains horizontality with help of overhangs the volume is subtracted from corner to give way to entrance the house brings about rare freshness with 
with a clean aesthetics and a sense of timeless quality. Bauhaus School this time to achieve the systematic theoretical and practical research into formal, technical and economic field to derive the form of an object from natural function and its limitation. This house celebrates the volume of gymnastic character, creating sense of imbalance with larger volume resting on a smaller volume with glass corner window. The rigorous rejection of all representational references, including the cubist and purist. The nature was too material, too individual. The universal art perhaps can allow abstract composition as an equilibrium of position and weight of colors. The philosophical foundation of D-Steel was embedded in such belief that art requires to bring universal quality and stay away from any contextual references or biases. The form of Schroeder House is a cubid vol volume, but is decomposed by horizontal projection and vertical walls and slabs. The formation of plan is strongly embedded into its philosophical position towards universality. The spaces are flexible and formed with partitions, almost like a cropped and uncropped lines of Piet Mondrian's painting. The skin of the house explore the new way of connecting with the outside on a similar lines of Piet Mondrian's painting. The character of house is reinforced with such projections and articulated them with colors, horizontal lines, and vertical lines, almost creating sense of asymmetrical equilibrium to the form. The interior is also a reflection of what is outside. The features like windows, railing, furniture are again reflection of overall design philosophy. The book on ornamentation and crime was not an antagonistic or anti-establishment position. Rather, it was an attempt to articulate the cultural advancement of society during the formative years of industrial-based uh, economy and its association with everyday object. The Rome plan or a plan of volume is a rigorous process of representation that is appropriate to industrial society, that is social indicator and economic indicator are resulting into spaces that has no definite boundaries. Loose stripped down buildings from any superfluous ornamentation and influence the minimal massing from modern housing. Adolf Loose work sets away from formalistic tendencies of form to plan in space. The sequence of space determined uh, by factor of organizing house program, what is known as Rome plan. It means plan of volumes or plan is a result of volumetric understanding of various spaces. I hope that the lecture brings about some clarity on early formative years of modernism and its impact uh, of articulating how house of form of modern society has emerged and went through a rigorous changes. In next lecture, we shall discuss the modern experimentation during the peak of industrial phase. Thank you.